Is the 48 Laws of Power evil? Should you read it? The 48 Laws of Power is one of the most controversial books in the 21st century. One of the biggest mistakes people make about their assumptions about his writings and this book is that Robert makes no assertions about what is good or evil. The 48 Laws of Power displays things as they are, not how we wish them to be in our idealistic vision of what the world should be. You might be disgusted that there are people, politicians, manipulators, liars, malevolent dictators, and malevolent individuals who are sowing seeds of doubt and plotting your demise and the demise of other people. You may be so sick and of that and the human species that that is even capable within. But your feelings don't change the reality. The laws of human nature have remained and will remain. The laws of power and human nature do not discriminate from kings and queens and courtiers. They apply to CEOs, businessmen and women. They apply to the clerk in an office and a retail assistant in a store. They apply in relationships. They apply within family and friends. They apply anywhere there is a human interaction with another person. So there is no escaping the reality of political games, of malevolence, of people potentially manipulating you. Eventually, at some point, people will try and take advantage of you. Everyone has an agenda of some sort. Some people's intent is better than others, but no one's hands are perfectly clean because the line between good and evil runs between every human heart. And the 48 Laws of Power and Robert Greene's writings their job is to demonstrate this reality and have you better be equipped with the tools learning how to play the game rather than being taken advantage of. You cannot escape the structures of power within our society, but you can turn a blind eye to them if you would like. And as a result, you will be naive and ignorant. You see, the 48 Laws of Power is simply a treatment to naivete. Ignorance is not always bliss. To remain ignorant is to remain feeble, weak, and vulnerable. If you want to create long-lasting change and control over yourself and your environment, you must be aware and remain formless to the way people maneuver through these power structures, through different dynamics of human nature that sometimes end up in people being wronged, manipulated, based on people's malevolent intent. The 48 Laws of Power is about understanding the game and developing control over your emotions, control and mastery over yourself. It's about empowering you to take responsibility for your life, yourself, and become aware of the potential ramifications of good and evil within every single person. Everybody has the capacity for good, just like everybody has the capacity for evil. Instead of remaining naive, why not understand the realities of how the dynamics of the world work? These aren't to be argued, this is the face of reality that we all live in. We have seen timeless accounts of it, that you've seen hundreds of examples in, in Robert's book, The 48 Laws, and many other books he's released. Or you could just look back through any story of a power structure, a conflict and dynamic between somebody who got what they wanted and another person who didn't get what they want. You can apply the principles of the 48 laws to that in everybody's life. Robert believes that one in 10 people are great manipulators. Let's say that's true. One in 10 people is 10%. If 10% of people you come in contact with, 10% of your friends, 10% of your family, 10% of your colleagues have the potential to be great manipulators, don't you think eventually that at some point they will try and manipulate you? Even if that is one in a hundred, we can all most likely acknowledge that there are people who will try and manipulate you, correct? Okay, let's agree on that. If we agree on that, then eventually you're going to slip. Your naivete is going to end up with you being on the other side of a wrongdoing, of an unfortunate event that could have been prevented of misfortune. You will call it misfortune, but in fact, it's disguised as your fault. Something that could have been prevented and mitigated by awareness over the reality of human nature 
and the games of politics and power that people play. Understand, there is a potential for deception and malevolence within all of us. It would be a mistake to ignore this potential and feign ignorance for the assumption of goodwill. So is the 48 Laws of Power evil? The 48 Laws of Power is as evil as you or me. If you want to minimize your chances of being deceived and manipulated, you need to have the tools necessary to prevent that. So I've created a Patreon, link is below, for those who want access to me to ask personal questions, to get unfiltered access to book summaries I've never released, concepts on power, deception, evil, good, self-development, etc. So they can understand and apply more of these principles so they can be better equipped to the realities of the world around them. The Patreon link is below for those who are curious to become better than they are today and a little bit less naive.